You ever hear a truck rumble down the highway and feel it in your bones before you even see it? Odds are, that beast is powered by a CAT C-15. But what makes this engine not just powerful, but legendary? Let's talk about a machine so iconic, so relentlessly dependable. It's been the backbone of fleets across America. The Caterpillar C-15. It's more than just iron and oil. This thing has a cult following. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why people swear by it. Or at it. Now, before we get greasy, let me ask you something. If engines had personalities, what would the C-15 be? Think of it like that old-school, no-nonsense mechanic who doesn't say much, but gets the job done every single time. The story of the C-15 starts back in the late 90s, when Caterpillar decided it was time to replace the 3406E. The C-15 rolled out, bringing in a new era of performance with more displacement, better cooling, and a bolder approach to emissions. And here's the kicker. It wasn't just built for today's problems. It was built to outlast them. Under the hood, the C-15 is a 15.2-liter inline-six diesel engine known for its insane durability. It can pull 600 horsepower and up to 2,050 pound-feet of torque without flinching. Translation, it'll pull a mountain if you ask nicely. Or rudely, doesn't matter. And let's not forget the twin-turbo versions. Because when one turbo isn't enough, why not throw in a second just to flex on physics? But wait, what's the catch? Well, not everything's sunshine and perfectly torqued bolts. Around 2003 to 2007, emissions regulations led to the C15ACERT model. That's when things got complicated. Imagine taking a reliable workhorse and telling it to also run a marathon with a snorkel on. Yeah. Performance took a hit, and so did fuel efficiency. Still, cat loyalists held firm. Why? Because even with the quirks, the C-15 outperformed in longevity. These engines could go a million miles with proper care. That's not an exaggeration. It's the kind of number that makes accountants weep with joy. Quick sidebar. Ever seen someone try to destroy one of these for fun? Spoiler. Usually the engine wins. Let's talk maintenance. It's no secret. Parts aren't cheap. But the real cost comes when you don't stay ahead of issues. Turbochargers, head gaskets, injectors, all can wear down. Especially if you're stretching oil changes or ignoring coolant quality. It's kind of like skipping dentist visits. Until one day your molar falls out while you're eating a sandwich. But here's what sets smart operators apart. Knowing the weak spots means you can plan ahead. Know your serial number range. Pre-acert, post-acert, and single turbo conversions, each one tells a different story. And some stories come with bigger repair bills than others. So what do people love about the C-15? It's rebuildable. It's serviceable. And it's built with American roads in mind. Hauling freight across Wyoming, climbing Colorado passes, or crawling through Chicago traffic, the C-15 was designed to handle the extremes. Now you might be wondering, is the CAT C-15 still a smart buy in 2025? Stay with me here, because the answer isn't just about horsepower. It's about value over time. Sure, newer engines offer cleaner emissions and smarter diagnostics, but they're also crammed with tech that, when it breaks, can cost you the equivalent of a used car. With a well-kept C-15, you're betting on reliability and simplicity. That's why owner-operators still hunt them down like treasure. But here's the twist. CAT stopped making on-highway engines back in 2010. So what does that mean for the future of the C-15? Are we looking at the last generation of truly mechanical muscle in American trucking? I'll break that down in the next video, including how to spot a solid used C-15, red flags to avoid, and what you should never do when buying one from a dealer. So if you've got diesel in your veins, or you're just trying to make sure your next rig doesn't bleed your wallet dry, hit that subscribe button and let's keep rolling. Because the CAT C-15 isn't just an engine, it's a legacy. And it's not done roaring yet. Would you like me to create a voiceover-ready version or suggest visuals for the faceless video format?